Good morning, third grade. Today we're going to go over our comprehension strategy and our comprehension skill for this week. Yesterday we read the dream catcher where we got to learn about how Peter, um, how he learned about his traditions and his culture from his grandma. So today we're going to talk about visualize first. If you want to follow along in your small reading book, it's on page 44. Otherwise, everything you need is going to be on my screen. It's up to you. Visualize. When we visualize, we use details to help us visualize the characters and their actions in the dream catcher. Form pictures in your mind as you read. When you read, you're not only finding the reading the words, you're also forming mental images about what the author is talking about. Okay? Let's look at our text evidence. How does Peter feel at the beginning of the story? Use the details in the first paragraph on page 39. Well, we've got a little cutout of page 39 right here. Page 39 says, Peter walked home from school. Salty tears ran down his cheeks and his stomach hurt. Those details help you figure out how Peter's feeling. How is he feeling right now? Well, you can probably picture him crying. He feels sad and upset. Visualizing helps us to find out more about our characters. Let's also talk about our sequence. Okay, I'm over here for sequence. Sequencing is when we put events in order that they happened. Read with me. A character's actions make up the plot or events in a story. Plot events are told in the order that they happen. A plot always has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Keep that in mind when you're writing your journal story for this week as well. You want to have a beginning, a middle, and an end to a good story. Now, to find what the sequence of this story is, we're going to go ahead and look at our book. Okay? So, as you read Dreamcatcher, knowing the order of plot events will help you understand what happens in the story. What are plot events? Well, plot events are the, middle, the beginning, the middle, and the end. Okay? The beginning, the middle, and the end. Let's go ahead and look at Dreamcatcher, and we're going to highlight the plot events in the order that they happen in the middle, in the beginning and middle of the story. All right, let's look over here. Peter walked home from school. Salty tears ran down his cheeks and his stomach hurt. He didn't know what to do. Grandmother was waiting for him on the porch. What's wrong, Bien? said Peter's grandmother. Bien was the Ojibwa name for Peter. He called her Nokomis, which means grandmother. Peter looked up. I have to give a presentation where give a presentation where we talk about family traditions. So right away, at part of our plot, who are our characters? Well, we know Peter and then his grandma. Okay, so Peter and Nokomis, which is what he called his grandma. Where is the story taking place? That's going to be our setting. Right? So we're at Nokomi's house. Peter walked home from school, right? We can find that right in the text, Peter walking home from school. Next, what's happening in the beginning? Well, we know that Peter's worried and he's crying. Nokomis is going to ask him what's wrong, and that's what happens in the beginning of the story. That's where we find out what the problem is. Peter says, I have to give a presentation where we talk about a family tr tradition. Okay, so we know he's nervous and he's sad about that. Now, if we look in the middle, the middle is where we talked about the dream catcher. And Nokomis was going to show Peter that dream catcher. Then they make one together. Remember, that was going to give him courage to do his presentation. Then we have our end. What happened at the end of the story? Well, at the end of the story... At the end of the story, he came up with his plan. He was going to show his class how to make a dream catcher. Right? I'm going to show my class how to make a dream catcher. Nokomis thought that was a really good idea. Thought it was a really good idea because now he was had his idea for his presentation. So... We also see that they had a party at the end. All right? That is our character or our um, sequencing for today.
today. Now, to practice that, your assignment is going to be in IXL. So in IXL, you're going to identify story elements. So the plot, the setting, the characters. Let's do one together. Remember when you do IXL, you're going for a SMART score of 80 or working for 30 minutes. Let's listen as it reads this story to us. Read the story. What starts with C? Jason, what are you bringing in for Spanish class tomorrow? Asked Akash. Akash's sister Dara caught up with them as they left the school. I have no idea, answered Jason. It's too hard to think of anything. Each week, they had to bring an object that started with a certain letter. They had to share some interesting facts about it. It all had to be in Spanish. Didn't Mr. Bermudez know they had only just started learning Spanish? It was impossible. This week, their letter was C. Jason couldn't think of a single Spanish word starting with C. The only thing he could do in Spanish was sing. Jason started humming Amy Burrow. It was a song about a little donkey. Dara asked Jason why he looked mad. He rolled his eyes. I'm not mad. I just can't think of a word that starts with C. Silly, she said. I know something that starts with C. But before Jason could say anything, she yelled, chocolate. Jason stared. Yeah, he said. I even know the Spanish for that. Chocolate. Same spelling, different pronunciation. The next morning, Jason brought a big chocolate bar to school. But he'd skipped breakfast, so he was hungry. He peeled off the wrapper and took a quick bite to get him through math. He could bring half a chocolate bar to Spanish, right? It was still chocolate. One more bite would be fine. But before he knew it, Jason had eaten the whole bar. He had none left to show the class. Before long, it was time for Spanish. He had a funny feeling in his stomach that had nothing to do with all of the chocolate. Starting at the front of the classroom, the students got up to share their objects. Akash showed off his calcetines, socks. Hottie held up a corbata, necktie. Jason's turn was coming next. He couldn't sit still. He started humming Amy Burrow. Suddenly he grinned. Mr. Bermuda said, Jason, it's your turn. What do you have? Jason stood up. He was ready. Cancion, he said. That was Spanish for song. And he sang Amy Burrow, with gusto, for the class. Then he took a bow. Excellent. So this story was all about, I can scroll up to the top here and see it if I just drag this, was all about Jason and that he had to bring in something for Spanish class that started with a C. Couldn't think of anything at the beginning of the story. Well, then he finally thought of chocolate. Then he ate all of his chocolate and didn't have anything to show for class. So then right before he had to give his presentation, he thought of that he could sing a song because the Spanish word for song is right here, cancion, and then he could sing, um, he brought that for his Spanish class. Now, the question's right here. What is the story setting? Remember, the, st the setting is where a story takes place. So did the story take place in Jason's home, in a street in Spain, in a school, or in a village in Mexico? Well, yeah, it took place in a school. So you would click school and hit submit. Okay, now you've got five questions that are on this same story, all right? So listen to every story very carefully because you're going to have it for five, um, five questions. Now, this question says, Who is the main character in the story? Now, I remember who the main character is, so I don't need to listen to this entire thing again. But if I didn't remember, I could hit play and listen to the story again. So who is the main character? Jason, Mr. Bermudez, Dara, or Akasha? Jason. It was all about Jason. So you're going to hit Jason and then submit it. All right? I'm at a smart score of 23. You can see that I've worked for four minutes so far. Okay, on your assignment, keep going till you get at least an 80 of a smart score or working for 30 minutes. Good luck. Do a great job.